Hi there, Joy Horner here for another thoughtful Thursday. Uh, yeah, hard to think what to think about this week because it's been a really busy week. My very last client had her baby and I've been busy doing daily visits, which is really nice. Um, because it's something I didn't have the luxury of doing as an NHS midwife. Um, I do like to provide daily visits for a week and then in the second week we visit every other day and in the third week every three days and in the fourth week yeah, we just get one visit and then hopefully my clients have been weaned off <laughs> needing to see me and yeah found their own confidence in their own abilities looking after their baby. So yeah that's really nice. Um, yeah, I'm running my pregnancy group, which is always a, an absolute delight. And we had four mums today, which was brilliant. Um, two of them are expecting baby. No, three of them are expecting babies. And two had had babies before. Um, one brought her new baby back to see us, so she's not pregnant. <coughs> And it was just absolutely beautiful to forget my lesson plan and all the things that I imagined we were going to do during the class and let the mums who'd had babies talk to the two who were expecting their first baby. And what this does, I think, is demystify a lot of the, the myths that women hear about births. And before the two women that had had babies arrived, the two expecting babies um, were just talking about birth stories they'd heard and, yeah, how sometimes those stories are a bit difficult. Um, so we were talking about balance and not taking on other people's bad stories. And luckily the two women who came that had had babies before had had very positive birth experiences <clears throat> which is absolutely marvellous um, one of them is expecting her fourth baby and one's just had her first baby and brought the baby to see us um, but to hear them both speak so positively about their birth was absolutely fantastic and I think just what the the first time has needed you know, here are very ordinary women in our community that have had two totally different birth experiences, but both have come out mentally intact and proud of what they've done in their, in their birthing. Um, one has had normal births, one ended up in hospital where the plan didn't quite follow the plan that she had in mind, um, but still she's very very positive about what she did during the birth and how she birthed her baby and what a great way to start motherhood you know from an empowered point of view rather than a, a disempowered point of view how great to be able to say you know I, I trusted my instinct and my intuition and I was right because doesn't that set you on the road to parenting you know the same skills are needed in parenting you need to use your intuition and your discernment over what's right for your baby and what's not even if it's your first baby you know you've got to make these decisions on a, a daily hourly minute by minute basis <clears throat> on what's the right thing to do and whose advice you should take and, and who you shouldn't take so yeah, really, really good when women come out of birth proud of their achievements, no matter what type of birth they'd had. And as I tell my pregnancy group, um, you know, the, the thing that we're aiming for when we're preparing for birth is a healthy mum and a healthy baby. And that means mentally intact, you know, as well as physically. So we want a mum who's in a good condition to start parenting and, 
yeah, is able to be in that loving space rather than starting parenting in trauma, um, which happens to some women. Yeah, so I think that's mainly where my thoughts have been this week and recounting stories to my pregnancy group <coughs> about women you know that I've cared for in the NHS and as an independent midwife in different birth settings home hospital birth centers and how I've seen ecstatic births and how I've seen spiritual births you know absolutely empowering amazing births in hospital as well as at home you know I've seen a a spiritual caesarean, one of the most beautiful births I've ever attended. I've been lucky enough to have clients who who have enjoyed the forceps birth, you know, because it is the moment they're going to meet their baby and they can get excited about that, even though it's not what they had in mind, you know, it wasn't in the plan. Um, but they can still see the beauty in the moment and greet their baby in joy. And this is so important being able to greet your baby in joy um, doesn't matter how doesn't matter where you know if your plans for home birth go awry and you end up in the hospital or your plans for the hospital go awry and you end up having your baby on your front doorstep because baby arrives so quickly you know it doesn't matter does it you know you want to greet your baby in joy you've waited normally nine sometimes ten months <laughs> you know to greet this baby um, so yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, just remembering lots and lots of beautiful births over the years. And how what's important is that the woman feels empowered and listened to and loved and cared for and respected throughout the process. Because this is what makes a difference to women's mental health. This is what makes the difference between a an okay birth and, you know, a, a traumatic birth. You know, the one thing that I figured out over this 15 years that I've been working is that what makes a difference is how we treat people, how we care for people. You know, do we explain every step of the way what's going along? Do we make sure that the person actually understands and gain full consent, you know, not standing over someone and pressurising them into a yes, no answer, but, you know, usually there's time to discuss and find out the, the woman and her partner's feelings about um, what we need to do in a labour or not do. <clears throat> so that's the take home message for today, I think, to be kind to women, to treat them respectfully and to help them focus on the joy of meeting their babies, no matter how that is. You know, this is a once in a lifetime thing that happens. Each birth, we've got to get it right. We only have the one chance to get it right for that couple. And we've got to make it as good as it can possibly be. So yeah, treat women kindly, treat them with love, explain to them, um, yeah, and then big them up because they've all done a fantastic job. You know, it's a hell of a job getting a baby out. Women are remarkable. Their bodies are remarkable. Yeah, let's not forget that. You know, most of us have the chance, you know, to be lucky enough to conceive. Um, even fewer of us have chance to actually carry to term and, you know, have a live baby at the end of it you know this is a an amazing miraculous thing that really needs to be celebrated um yeah i think that's it for today so lots of love from joy and see you again next week for thoughtful thursday bye <laughs>